Well, hey, hey, guys, welcome to the studio. Today, we've finished a great song. We've uploaded it to streaming platforms, in this case, SoundCloud, only to find they've chopped off the first part of the beat of our song. Why do they do it? How can we fix it? We're going to use Ableton as a workaround, but you should be able to do this in pretty much any DAW. Let's get to it. First, what proof do I have? Let me show you. We recorded some snare drum hits all done at the same velocity. Now, we rendered that as audio, and you can see that file here. Every snare drum is identical. They're all at a velocity of 127. Then, we rendered this out of Ableton, and this is the rendered waveform brought back in. And down here in pink, this is what SoundCloud did to it. You can see the later snares here are all at the same volume as we go. However, take a look at this first one, and I'm talking about this spot right here. That part of the snare has been cut off by SoundCloud. Luckily, guys, there's a way to fix this. All you have to do is trick SoundCloud into not doing it, and there's a fairly easy way that we can do that. Let me show you how to manage it. First, it's a good idea to know exactly what this problem is and why SoundCloud screws with it so bad. So here I am in Ableton and I've got everything aligned over here with first beat of the song, indicated up here by first beat. And to show you what the sound difference is, I'm going to go ahead and solo this track to this is rendered from the MIDI track. We'll listen to two or three snares. Okay, now let me show you what happened down here in pink. This is what SoundCloud hears. Listen to that first snare, so much quieter than everything else. And here I am zoomed in showing you exactly the portion that SoundCloud chopped off compared to every other track that I have. And here's the fix. On the top left of your screen, you can see that we have some tabs up here. We're going to go ahead and click on Create. Down a little bit, you have Insert Silence. We want this. And you can see what it's doing is it's shoving my content to the right. I can change this in preferences as to how much silence it's adding, or I can click it a couple of times and keep shifting it over until it's where I want it. Or if you're in a pinch, Control I does the same thing. Once we have it lined up to start on something a little bit later than the first count, we're gold. Now, whenever I start this track, you're going to hear just a brief little silence before the track begins. Listen. That's the fix. Now, all it really takes is just to insert that little one beat of silence at the beginning of your song, and then SoundCloud is not going to render it improperly. When I go to export this song from file, I will click on export audio slash video, and you can see that it wants to start the render on the second beat. Right here, it's telling you first bar, second beat, it wants to start the render. Grab this, click it, and pull it back to one again. Now, Ableton will do that automatically. It'll detect where the first thing is that happened in your song, and it'll start the render from that point, which is not really a terrible idea, except that we know that SoundCloud is going to really stomp on whatever it is the first thing is that happens in our song, and we don't want that. Now, there's a good habit that you can be in, working with Ableton or really any DAW, where you don't have to go through that hassle every single time just to trick SoundCloud. And here it is. I'm in another one of my projects, and take a look at this. I don't start the song until the fifth bar. And I get a couple different benefits from doing it that way. If I ever decide I want to add a little extra sound at the beginning, I don't have to go in and move the song around just to squeeze in an extra sound at the beginning of the song. But more importantly, I can start the render one beat prior to bar five 
and always get that little gap of silence to trick SoundCloud so it doesn't screw up our music. Well, I had a lot of fun putting this together, and it took me a little time to discover this little trick. I'm sure it's not just me who knows it, but now you know it too. And we got a lot of work to do. Let's get to it. <laughs> 